Hello, users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All. And this clip was sent to me. This is of a protest in Tallahassee, Florida, outside of the Capitol, where a uh, an anti Antifa person. Wait, two negatives make a positive. So anti Antifa, anti anti cancel. So a, a fa. That's weird. Anyway, so an anti-Antifa protester pulled a gun and started to get into a physical altercation with protesters. And the city has responded to this by saying nothing will happen. So, let's read. And then I'll play the video. A man who pointed a gun at Black Lives Matter protesters in Tallahassee, Florida on Saturday, which was captured in a widely shared video, will not face charges. The city announced in a news release Sunday in which the city repeatedly blamed protesters for putting public safety at risk by holding a protest without a permit. What? You already know that they're going to protest every single day? This permit thing is just an excuse for them to not do their job. So, this is an article from Forbes, by the way. The man was under attack before lawfully defending himself, the city of Tallahassee said. Video of the incident shows a tense scene between the armed man who the Tallahassee Democrat called a counter-protester and Black Lives Matter protesters where there was a scuffle leading to the man being knocked to the ground. He then pulled out a handgun, pointing it at the protesters before police officers moved in to arrest him. Tallahassee Police Department investigators determined the man was acting in self-defense, though saying that he was lawfully carrying a concealed weapon. Okay, first of all, lawfully carrying a concealed weapon has literally nothing to do in whether or not that was self-defense to point a gun at someone. Like, what? Like, I, yeah, I'm lawfully driving down a road, right? I'm just lawfully driving down. And if someone just so happens to be crossing at a crosswalk, well, I'm lawfully driving. And then when I hit them, that's when the crime occurs. Like, hello? You can lawfully can carry a concealed weapon and then pull the weapon out and point it at someone in a very violent way. Just as you can lawfully drive down a road, not stop at a red light, and then hit someone. There is a point where that doesn't matter anymore, so it's just bizarre. He was there documenting the protest, the news release said, before protesters pushed him down, before a protester pushed him down. And we'll see if the video corroborates that. The city also criticized demonstrators for offering no advance notice or coordination with police before the protest, which blocked an intersection in front of Florida's old state capitol building. Oh, boo-hoo. So let's see what happened here. Um, was pulling this gun justified? Get the fuck out of here! They're really gonna miss your input tonight. Get the fuck! Okay, so this is the guy with the gun. As you can tell, I'm gonna skip ahead as you can tell. So that's the guy with the gun. Now let's look at this. Who punches who first? You can see that this guy turns around and then unleashes a punch on the other person. Now it's hard to tell because, you know, there's a few people in the way, but it does not look like that the Black Lives Matter protester punched first. Though it's totally possible, but this is the only video that I have seen. If there's another angle of this, let me know. But it looks like they turn around to punch someone and then get into a scuffle with another protester who goes in to help the other person. But again, it, it is really hard to tell who's punching first. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what happens. Oh my 
I just want to note that the police somehow were capable of arresting someone with a gun who was armed. The police were somehow capable of arresting them without killing them. So I'm just pointing that out. That's interesting. We didn't do anything! Yo, yo, yo. Do not push people! Okay. You're welcome! You're welcome! Okay. You're welcome! Is anybody hurt? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? So again, I don't know much information here, but it really does boil down to who tried to initiate this uh, scuffle first. It looks like blows are exchanged at very similar times, but it's interesting because this guy turns around and then kind of punches him immediately. But again, it's hard to tell because these people are kind of just standing there. But uh, either way, it's very interesting that police were somehow capable of arresting someone who was armed. And it's also very interesting that um, this just happened. This is just, it's, it's bizarre. Does it look like self-defense? Well, he didn't shoot anyone, but it definitely escalated things. But it's hard to tell. Now, I will say, I genuinely do not know who punched first. If a Black Lives Matter protester punched him first, then I understand the argument for self-defense. However, this is the only video I can see. So if there's another angle that can prove that, I would like to see that. However, if this guy started punching first and then pulled out a gun when he realized he was going to lose a fight, that's kind of cucky. So I'm just pointing that out there. But this is happening all across the country. Guns are being involved at protests. People are being shot. Thank goodness someone wasn't killed here, but can't say the same for Kenosha, can't say the same for Portland, and apparently, I haven't looked into it yet, but apparently uh, there was another police shooting in Los Angeles, so I'm going to be looking that up a little bit more as well, but uh, the world's kind of going to shit right now, so stay safe out there, and... Um, Goodbye.